Look, I've always been a PowerPoint fan, but when I discovered Canva presentations, it was a whole new world opening up to me. And I want to take you through a very simple Canva presentation today, just to get you started, or you have a presentation due, and you are on YouTube right now because you are looking for a quick, easy fix to meet your deadline. I'm here to help. How to do Canva presentation in less than five minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you already have a Canva account, but if you don't and you still need to orientate yourself to Canva, I have a previous video to introduce you to Canva, but let's get straight into the presentation. Create your design. There is a presentation or you can see it right here. So the beauty of Canva is that the dimensions are pre-populated in the back end. It will already get the right dimensions for you. So you're basically ready to go. And then they're being a little bit nicer and they give you a whole bunch of templates to choose from. Bear in mind, if you're on the free version, you have limited options. If you're on the pro version, feel free to choose whatever you like. Everything that you see is the front page of the presentation. Once you click on it, you will see an entire layout of the presentation. So you don't need to design anything. You basically just need to populate and add a little bit of animation here or there. You can also search. I'm going to pick a more relevant topic such as reporting. Right, let's see where we can start. If you hover over the slide, you will see that it shows you the extra slides without having to click on the template. So generally, nice front page. I would probably have some kind of information. You know what, I actually think I need a table of contents. So I'm gonna swap this, hold it, drag and release to the spot where you want that uh, slide to move to. So all things considered, you basically have your report. Now it's just to actually replace the words with your own. So some of these templates might already have animation in it and you will be able to see it by this button. If it shows that there is, if it, if there is animation, this will be highlighted. Remember, if you are clicking on the page and you choose an animation, everything will have that animation. You have to click on the individual element to keep the animation just to that one. If you say presenter view, this is when you have two screens. So on the one screen, you will be able to see your notes. And on the second screen, you'll be able to see the presentation. So you can see there's already some animation. You've got a nice cute little button here to navigate you. You can go on the keyboard left or you, just, you can just click left. Side note, just as with PowerPoint, you have the option right here at the bottom if you see it, notes here, to add notes to every single page. Perhaps I don't like the colors because it's not my brand colors. That's very easy to change, especially in Canva Pro, where you have the ability to change the color of the majority of the elements that you will use. So I can go here, and you can go and change whatever you have. You can see I have the option to add brand colors. This is when you have Canva Pro. I don't know if you've noticed, but up to this point, I have not touched the sidebar, but I basically already have a presentation that I just need to populate. Look, by no means am I an expert in ChatGPT at all, but this is just a way that I work it into my daily tasks to make my life a little bit easier. As much as I love ChatGPT, I would never just copy and paste. I would always add my own touch to it. Also, because it doesn't exactly feel professional to just copy and paste. Okay, maybe I hate the picture. I want sales report and oh, that looks nice i like that more and then maybe our last thing that we want to change is that the fact that we don't like these icons remember whatever you're looking for just type it in the search bar it doesn't even matter if it sounds ridiculous just type it in something that i always keep in mind there are thousands of options here for graphics but if you start with a certain kind of design just stick to it it doesn't make sense if you have a 2d picture somewhere and then the next slide or the next picture you suddenly you suddenly now have a 3d design it doesn't go together now to make your life even easier sometimes you might not have connection or you might be worried about your connection or you don't have the option for a powerpoint or canvas presentation and you can present it as a pdf but if you do it as a pdf you lose your animations but you can still make it interesting i'm going to show you how you can do it if you want to do it as a presentation in pdf Say for instance, this slide that we are on at the moment, you don't want all three of these elements to show at once, you want to run them through one by one. 
So what I do, I duplicate the slide three times. The last slide, I obviously want all of the content on. So I'm going to leave the last slide as it is. The second to last slide, I'm just going to delete the bottom bit. The first slide, I'm going to delete everything else. So now you can see if I go from that slide, I go to the slide. As I'm carrying on, it looks like I'm still on the same slide as in a PowerPoint and I keep adding text, but I'm actually not. And then the last thing, look at this nifty little feature on Canva Pro for animations. You can create an animation. So I want to do it here and put it back there. How freaking cool is that? And then one more thing that you can add is a transition. If you hover in between pages, you see this little arrow. This is where you can add transition from one page to the other. This is what you always see on the YouTube slides. Something slides past or up or down. And you can hover over and then you can kind of see what is going to happen. If you're going to present from your laptop, you can just obviously click on present and you can go directly. If you're going to use this as a PDF, you go to share, download, PDF standard is perfectly fine and you don't download it as all pages in one and it will combine it already in one document. And this is how you do a presentation in less than five minutes. I hope you make it in time and good luck with your presentation. I'll see you soon.